all right guys so i run the application and i am getting error so when i click on the pay with stripe as you can see i'm getting communication not permit by network security policy some issue i'm getting so i have checked online and um, i've got this uh, thing we are not uh, uh, for emulator they are they can't access this thing now to give this permission we have to add this uh, file we have to create new xml and this one so I'm, what I'll do, I'm just going to uh, create new layout inside the layer resource. I'm going to create new folder called XML. All right. And we got this XML and the XML name will be network security config. Just create new XML and paste it here. And this you can leave it like this and come back here. Instead of preference screens, what we need is just copy this line and paste it here. Sorry. Uh, paste it here and instead of this URL this API thing you have to copy your uh, thing which is this one not all just the uh, domain that is IP address I believe so paste it inside this alright so which means we are telling you know enter to accept this URL okay then in the manifest xml here you have to add this okay so network security config then the xml which we have created network security config all right now if you run the application our app is running and let me just click on this five dollar thing and buy now continue to payment and if you click come down on pay with stripe this time we won't get that error as you can see now to taste this thing we have a dummy this thing what do you call it card these are you know if you want to check whether payment is success or not any require authentication order you can check i'm just gonna go with this uh, one card for test so I'll write 424242 four two, four two till end. All right, then you can give any a month. All right, just repeat this one. A one two three. You can give any number. Now I'm just gonna pay some amount. I clicked on pay. As you can see, payment completed. I have pay, pay this much amount at what is the time now? 9 8 p.m. So if I come back to a uh, dashboard here, if I refresh it again. And if I click on the first one, as you can see, payment is succeed and the date is 97, which means yeah, 98, which is exact two days time. All right. So this is how you can do payment and it's working properly, uh, perfectly fine. Now, uh, in the next video or uh, now what we'll do actually, uh, that is better. Now what we'll do, we'll try to change this uh, payment right now, default they are uh, passing 14 dollar, right? 14 USD. Now, instead of that, what we can do is we can change this amount right now we are passing hard-coded value over here as you can see all right now to do so uh, you just come to your checkout activity and there we can uh, instead of passing this value right now we are uh, passing this json and we can pass our own value here right so we can do in uh, many methods even the uh, currency type also what i am going to do here is uh, if you come here if you check my block over here i have already done some uh, change here instead of this i am passing all this thing in the map as you can see this is the amount and the type and all i'm just going to copy this all right and comment out this and paste it here all right and then amount is right now we don't have edit text you can just write it for now we can just give some uh, random value 1 to 3.0 all right then import this also and list of math so this list is used for car, uh, card if you are ordering more than one item that that time we can use this all right now currency type you can set any value or you can get it from firebase also right now i'm default passing usd then image this id you can give any id or item name or anything but we are not using this we are only using currency and amount here all right 
in this item list we are passing in the it uh, we are storing everything in this map and then we are passing inside this json okay so in here the moment when you call this or in the item we will get all this detail a free detail here so uh, now if you come back to this part where i have changed server side code as well come back come down somewhere over yeah yeah this is the one as you can see before we are returning default value right now what we are returning inside item we have zero item first item then amount return that amount all right all you need is just copy this and paste it here where is that over here all right so control to lock amount this will get the first amount if you have a lot of item then you can sum and then return the sum over here cool so this is how we are returning so uh, see here we are passing 123.0 uh, so we will return 123.0 done and the usd the amount type you can get it like this okay where is that here if you come back here if you write item request dot body you will get item value and if you write request dot body currency it will fetch the only currency make sure these two are match this currency uh, sorry this amount if you send set it to amount this should be amount all right so i'll change this is amount and this is currency this should be currency all right so this i'll just copy this and this is currency which is already fine and currency correct so what i'll do come back here from here before we return where is that here I'm getting I'm fetching item from body currency from body then I'm returning this currency and this currency all right cool that's all we need actually we don't have much work to do now if you run our app let me just stop this and run it again uh, stop this and server not JS and if you run our app also why it is running some error I got, I don't know. Let's close this, close this, close this. Close this. Let me just run it again. Some emulator issue is there. I just run our app again. And we are getting what is this um, activity does not exist if you are getting this kind of error, error make sure you just go to Gradle and then uh, install then uninstall all okay this will fix the problem but uh, I think it's slow all right we uninstall this and run the app again all right our app is running sorry for the noise and it got crashed again i think let me just run it again one more time yep it's running and if why do i have login all right i'm going to log in again in and if you remember I set the amount to one two three over here so let's see whether we are uh, getting this amount in the stripe or not oops all right pay with stripe and four two four two four two all right one two three as you can see we are paying the amount one two three so which means this is working perfectly fine and if you check this also uh, dashboard also you will get the amount okay now what we will do is we'll deploy this project in uh, Heroku I think Heroku yeah see as you can see make sure you multiply by uh, 100 because when you pass one two three it will be divided by 100 so 1.23 dollar all right 
So now in the next video we will uh, deploy this project since it is already ready. We will deploy this project in uh, Heroku and then we will continue uh, where we left off.